already, my friends, we're going to evaluate the integral of e to the negative 2x cos of x, and it's going to be awesome. This is a sneaky integral to evaluate. We're going to do it using the most popular method, which is integration by parts. I do have another method that I prefer. I think it's a lot easier, but check this method out, and then check out the other version that I think is easier, and then you can decide which version you like. Okay, so we're going to set u equal to cos of x, and then dv in this formula right here, this is what we're trying to evaluate, u dv, so dv is everything else, e to the negative 2x. Now, in our formula, we have to evaluate what du is, and we also need to find out what v is right here. So to get du, we'll take the derivative with respect to x, multiply both sides by dx to get du equals to negative sine x dx. And that's because the derivative of cos x is negative sine. Okay, so now we'll integrate dv, both sides actually, to get v, and if we integrate this, we get negative e to the negative 2x divided by 2. So if you look at this and take the derivative, the derivative of this function is itself times the derivative of the inside function. We do a chain rule here where the negatives, these two negatives here cancel out, and then this 2 would cancel out with this to give us this if we took the derivative. So this one, this v, is the integral of dv. Now we'll take these and plug them into our integration by parts formula, which is what I did right here. So the integral that we're trying to evaluate equals to u times v, and this is u, right? u times v, so we have cos x, that's our u, times v, this is our v that we just evaluated, minus, I know there's a plus here, but minus the integral of v du. And du is the sine x, which we have here. v is this thing, which we have here. Notice du and v are both negative, so those negatives cancel to make it positive. There's a minus here. This minus, I brought inside right here. I brought inside right here. Now, you could leave it here, but I like to bring it inside. And the reason <laughs> is if you look at these two integrals, we now need to evaluate this one, right? And it doesn't look like this integral is any easier than this one. But this is the tricky part. We're going to use integration by parts again, believe it or not. And the reason is that if we used integration by parts once, and from a cosine x, that gave us a sine x. If we do it again, we'll exchange our sine x for cos x, which is the same integral that we're starting with. So I'll show you what I mean. Here we'll set u equal to sine of x, and dv equals to everything else right here. This is why I brought the minus sign in here, because it just makes integration by parts easier to deal with. Uh, you don't have to worry about this negative sign, or this minus sign being distributed in the formula. So, okay, so to find out du, we'll take the derivative with respect to x, du dx, and then multiply both sides by dx to get du equals cos x dx, because the derivative of sine x is cos x. We'll then integrate both sides here to get v equals the integral of this, and the integral is e to the negative 2x divided by 4, and it we can tell this is the integral of this because if you take the derivative of this, you'll get this one. The derivative of this function is itself times the derivative of the inside function, which is negative 2x, which and the derivative of that inside function is negative 2, so that negative 2 cancels kind of one of these fours to a two, and then we get our negative in there. Okay, so we'll ho hope that's clear. Anyways, we'll substitute in what our uv is, and our minus integral of v du, again, into the formula, and we'll get this. So this is the integral that we're aiming to evaluate. This term comes along for the ride. See, I just brought it down. Now we need to plus the integration by parts formula on the right-hand side, so uv minus v du. So this is u times v. Uh, well, this is u, and then this is v right here. I <laughs> uh, just interchanged them, that's fine. Minus the integral of v du, and here's our v, and here's our du, cos x dx, plus our integration constant. Now that has to be there. And if we look at this integral and this integral, we basically reproduce the same integral, right? That's cool. There's a 4 in the way, but we can just multiply everything by 4 to get rid of the fractions here, and then combine the terms. So I move this one over to this side, which gives us 5 of the integral that we're trying to evaluate, equals to this one here. So this four, 2 goes away because we multiplied everything by 4, so we have a 2 on top. This 4 is gone because we multiplied everything by 4. And now if we want to know what this integral is, we'll just simply divide by 5. And for fun, 
I decided to factor out the 1 over 5. Once we divide by 5, we'll have a 1 over 5 here. So I factored that out and the e to the negative 2x to give us the answer of our integral uh, right here in all its glory. <laughs> Yo, it was a lot of work. There's a nicer way to do it. I strongly recommend checking it out so that you have another tool in your toolkit on how to do integrals. At any rate, hang in there. Good luck in your course. I know integrals are not the easiest to learn, but the more you do, the better you'll get, and you can survive.